In the Centre for Biomedical Sciences at Royal Holloway, we have a range of research scientists in different areas, and that could be in neuroscience and drug discovery, it's gene and cell therapy, and in medical microbiology. Biomedical sciences are really important because we help to understand drugs, how they work, we help to treat diseases, and we help to understand what a healthy life is all about. Our academics teach in their area of speciality, so students really benefit from being able to understand the research we do and see the importance of that research, and that makes it a much more exciting degree for them. My research here at Royal Holloway is focusing on developing gene therapies for muscular dystrophies. We've developed some drugs that are now being used in clinical trial in patients and they are making a difference to those patients. And here at Royal Holloway we have very strong links with the University Hospitals in London and we're involved in developing things for clinical trial with them and they are actually implementing the clinical reagents that we've developed. Students um, get involved in the work through their third year projects. I think they realise how important gene therapy is. It's at the cutting edge now. The work we're doing is vital because at the minute there's no um, therapies available for patients with muscular dystrophy. I lecture on a number of courses uh, that are looking at the genetic basis of diseases. So I go into detail in my lectures about Duchenne muscular dystrophy in particular and the therapies that we're developing here. So students do get um, a first-hand experience of the research we're doing. Right from the very start of their education, students at Royal Holloway get hands-on experience learning laboratory techniques for my medical microbiology. They start to learn more about the impact of medical microbiology, the causes of infectious diseases. This includes investigating how antibiotic resistance occurs and how we can prevent it. Alternatives to antibiotics are urgently required. Another strategy would of course be to prevent infection in the first place, such as through vaccine development. At Royal Holloway, we have researchers who are working on vaccine development for a particular microorganism called Clostridium difficile infection. I like research that is focused on delivering outcomes that will help us and our society. For example, in epilepsy research, we have looked to understand how epilepsy treatments work, and from that we've been able to identify a variety of new potential treatments for epilepsy. Students start at a, a basic level, learning the uh, fundamental aspects of biomedical science. As they progress through their degree into the third year, they get more focused in specific areas of disease. Our students go on then to find jobs in society after their degrees, where they use this knowledge and continue to be part of the scientific community.